Kingdom Hearts 4 is something we don't have a lot of information about yet. But if there's one thing that I think we all love speculating on, it's what kind of secret bosses may be showing up in this game. And that's the point of this video today. But for a small change of pace, I won't be doing this video alone. I'm instead showing you all my first ever collab with my good friend, Mad Kaiser. He's a pretty cool guy, we met a while back and we both love JRPGs. And he was the one who actually hit me up for the collab. And I was so excited for that, I just couldn't help but say yes. Now, I'm even gonna give this guy the main floor. Take it away, Kaiser. I'll let you go first with your set of bosses you wanna see. Hey everyone, what up? Mad Kaiser here. First, I wanna give a thanks to Crimson Rostov for joining this collab. As you know, I'm into Kingdom Hearts, and honestly, it was an honor of being here. So, with Kingdom Hearts 4, we want to talk about his secret bosses, and with Kingdom Hearts 3 really improving their super bosses with Remind, with you know the Data Og and Yuzora, and even to extent I also even liked um base game Dark Inferno, but that's a bit of an unpopular opinion. But the point is with the um Kingdom Hearts 4 most likely now improving their super boss design like the Ozaka team getting a foot on. It's safe to say that they will likely go even more crazier with the potential lineup of super bosses they have. So here we want to give some that we would like to see or possibly could see. So in no random order I would just have to say my number 5 pick would have to be like some kind of Disney super boss akin to what some of the ones like say Julius from Dream Drop Distance as well as say the Ice Titan Kingdom Hearts 1, like, I would like to see, you know, another Disney cool super boss from missing, reminding of those good old days, and it could be from any thing, like, if it's like, say, if we're going to Star Wars, and, like, you know, one of the boss fights might be Darth Vader, I think the super boss could be, you know, like, Emperor Palpatine, like, I think he could be potentially be a good super boss, like, you know, because in a way he's similar to what Xehanort is, overall, like, Xehanort is in a way Palpatine of Kingdom Hearts in a way, I think, you know, just, you know, trying to block his lightning and all that stuff, like, since, he, and he's avoiding the force, all that stuff, I think he will be a really good super boss. It'll be a good, interesting way to sort of tie him before, you know, his supposed death and return of the Jedi, and lead into that whatever the hell that thing was in Rise of Skywalker. God, that movie's so bad. But overall, I do think that he will be a good pick. Another fourth pick, I would say, is probably like, say, a data version of, like, say, whoever the main antagonist of Kingdom Hearts 4 is. Whether it be the Foretellers, or whether it be, you know, the Master Masters or Lushu, I think, you know, or they could even just, you know, be, you know, just a repeat of, like, the final boss, but more stronger, more powerful. Like, in a way, we got what, like, Dar Zamnes in Kingdom Hearts 2, where you could both fight a harder version of that fight from Kingdom Hearts 2 alongside the base one. Like, I think a harder version of the final boss will be very good and very cool. Number three, I would say, is... Uh, probably, you know, just a Final Fantasy fight, like another cameo Final Fantasy fight cause. Obviously, Kingdom Hearts 3 did slightly lean less to that, like, only sort of a few returned in, like, Remind, but not in the base game. And whether or not you know, Moa will keep, you know, bringing Final Fantasy now that he has, you know, gained a new gained lots of original characters and also the fact that now we're exploring Quadratum and Yozora is based on Noctis from Versus 13, Nomo's other baby and it's technically part of the Fabian Star series. I think another Final Fantasy character would fit the bill perfectly and I think my choice would be Lightning from the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy. Now I know she's not a particularly well received character, nor is her games though, in a way, 
neither was Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy X II, and well, they brought their characters from those games into Kingdom Hearts, so obviously whether it's popularity or unpopularity, I do think that Lightning will fit a choice cause that in like say, Remind, there was lots of thematic elements from the Fabina Crystallis series and to extend Final Fantasy XIII. But like say Sora turned into crystal if you get the bad ending after losing to you Zora all that good jazz and I think lightning would just be a very good fight to pick second would obviously be hopefully another Sephiroth fight maybe like the last Sephiroth fight like in a way I know many were sad that Sephiroth couldn't make it to Kingdom Hearts Free, like we couldn't have another final cloud versus Sephiroth and it will be a good way to you know sort of promote Final Fantasy 7 remake like with a little bit of missed opportunity so hopefully well I can't say because it's likely chance that Kingdom Hearts 4 will come after Final Fantasy 7 rebirth so I think it will be a good promotion material to somehow you know just get another final Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth and cloud battle I think That'll be just the last one, like, that, and you know what, that could be, you know, the last time they fight, like, cause, obviously, let's just give them, you know, a good conclusion, and, yeah, so, because we need, obviously, more room for other Final Fantasy, you know, like, Sephiroth fights, like, well, Final Fantasy bosses in general, like, can we have Gilgamesh be the next recurring fight, please? And my number one pick will obviously be some sort of secret teaser boss. Now, obviously, Kingdom Hearts for us to come out, and we still don't know much about it. But I honestly do think that we might hopefully see, you know, another teaser boss. Like, maybe, maybe Ava as the secret boss. Because at the end of Kingdom Hearts 3, when Lucy was revealed and most of the foretells returned, only Ava was not present. So what is she doing? Like hopefully maybe an Ava fight or maybe something with the Master of Masters if Kingdom Hearts 5 is, you know, well, that, you know, like if Kingdom Hearts 5 will have, you know, we'll get to fight the Master of Masters or the Foretellers or something, like, just, those are my picks, like, I think just, you know, Secret Teaser boss that will tie in, because we got those in the past, we got Unknown from Kingdom Hearts 1, with, who became Zemnis in Kingdom Hearts 2, Lingering Will, who was actually Terra's Lingering Will in Perth by Sleep, and then we did get Yozora in Kingdom Hearts 3, who will likely will play a role in either Kingdom Hearts 4 or the game after it. And yeah, those are just probably my picks. And yeah, honestly, those are my picks. And honestly, there's lots of realm of possibilities of what it could be. Anyway guys, uh, thank you guys for having me, I'll put you back to Crimson Rosso, and yeah, peace out. Thank you so much for all that helpful insight, Kaiser. Now I think it's my turn to drop some knowledge on the kitties. And to kick it off, here's the start of my five picks. Alrighty, I'm gonna get the first one I want out of the way, and it's the most obvious of them all for me. I think it's time we brought in Oswald as a secret boss. And then why? Well, throughout the franchise, we've always gotten a lot of either made bosses for the franchise, like No Heart, Mysterious Figure, Benitez, and we've even gotten a Final Fantasy boss in the form of Sephiroth. But we surprisingly don't really get Disney bosses a lot. You know, considering the fact it's owned by Disney. At most, we've gotten, like, that Caesar guy from... I, I, I totally butchered that name, did I? Whatever. We got that one dude in Dream Drop, and that was really cool. I wanted to see more of that, and... I'll be frank, I'm disappointed 3 didn't try to capitalize that more. So, I'm hoping for 4, we're gonna get Oswald. It would make a lot of sense, and I've even thought of, like, a cool little story in my head while thinking about this. What if we got a side story where it was revealed that Oswald was working with Mickey under Yen Sid? They were both Keyblade Masters, and then, like, something happened. Like, he ended up in Quadratum by using the power of Waking. And then while he was here, he ended up confronting the Blot, fusing with it and becoming evil. And Sora has to battle him in, like, a crazy one-on-one -on -one battle. Or even better, you could introduce this as Mickey showing up, and them working together to battle Oswald. 
His combo style would be very much like Mickey's, where he could lock you into fast combos, and then he could have these crazy big attacks where he uses the block to destroy the area. I just would like to see that, in all honesty. I'd like to see Disney try to experiment with more of their bosses in games. It would be more fun to fight Disney villains. I want to fight some outside of the worlds that we go to. Make that happen. It'd be so cool. Let me fight Oswald. So earlier in the video, my friend Kaiser mentioned the fact that he wanted to see Lightning as a secret boss, and I wanted to add to that with my own set of Square Enix secret bosses. We'll get to one later, but the one I want to focus on for this one is Kefka. I want to fight that crazy clown motherfucker. Come on, Square. He's from one of your most revered Final Fantasies. I would love to duke it out with him. Can you imagine a giant multi-phase super boss against him? Like you fight him in like his normal form, and then he grows gigantic and you have to run up his legs and his arms to strike at like parts of his body to weaken him. Then he grows small again and then he like multiplies and he just starts throwing a bunch of magic at you and you have to dodge it. Then he uses poison abilities to try to kill you. God, it would be so hype. I love Sephiroth, but I really want to see them start incorporating more Final Fantasy characters. Let me fight characters like fucking Kefka or hell, do a promotion tie-in and have us fight Clive. Or better yet, why not have us fight one of the giant raid bosses from Final Fantasy XIV? There's nothing stopping you, Square. Let us do this. Let us fight more of your library than just one winged angel man. Hell, let us fight Zack. That'd be pretty hype. Sora vs. Zack would go kind of hard in like a Colosseum setting. I want to fight Jack from Final Fantasy Strangers of Paradise. There, I said it. Oh yeah, that's right, I have to explain why. Okay, so Strangers of Paradise, I'm gonna admit, it's not a perfect game. It's got some flaws. But goddamn, did Jack end up being such a protagonist that I ended up actually really liking? Just because of how over the top they wrote him. And I also loved the combat of the game. I will fully admit that I think the combat is top notch in that game. And I would love it if Square incorporated Jack as a boss in Kingdom Hearts 4. Basically something like a crazy unlock or a Colosseum fight where you can battle him and his friends or you can just fight him in his crazy armor at the end of the game. Like maybe he shows up trying to get Sora involved in his crazy plan of manipulating all the fate in the world. And then Sora's gonna be like, nah brah, I decide my own fate. And he's like, nah brah, I'm gonna beat your ass for that. And then they just fight. His style of combat could be very similar to the games, but given much more weight. For example, his normal slash attacks could reach farther, he could be throwing a bunch of magic at you, he could crystallize parts of the area that just cause perma damage to you if you keep touching them, or if you want to put a little more spice on these meatballs, you could have him swap between classes while fighting. For example, he's coming at you with his warrior class and he swaps over to mage and starts throwing fire guys at you. Just some crazy swapping abilities to keep you on your toes. And as an added little thing, maybe whenever he swaps, he takes less damage in that form. Like using warrior styles, he doesn't take as much damage from weapons, but in his magic styles, he doesn't take as much damage from magic, meaning you gotta time what you're fighting with. Hell, halfway through, he could call in his team and you have to fight all of them with various health bars. I'm going hard into this, but I really want Square to start utilizing more characters outside of Final Fantasy VII for things like boss fights and characterization. I just want to fight more Final Fantasy characters. <sighs> I want to fight Kurt Zisa again. I get it, I get it, it's not original, just, but come on! Kurt Zisa was one of the coolest boss fights in all of Kingdom Hearts. That awesome design, the cool mechanic of swapping between using your magic to attacking with your physical moves, it's all just so cool. Give me another battle like that in these games. You never really get that again. Okay, like, imagine this in Kingdom Hearts 4. He shows up again in, I don't know, maybe a Coliseum or somewhere. But instead, this time around, instead of just swapping between magics and attacks, you have to use form changes, you have to use drive forms, you have to use shot locks. Like, it's, a, it's just this boss that has you fight it in multiple ways, so you really have to use everything at your disposal to win. I think that would be really fucking cool. Kingdom Hearts bosses don't really do that nowadays. It's usually just hit them till they die, which, you know, isn't bad. And uh, I like hitting them till they die. But, you know, I'd like a little more strategy to be needed. 
All right, I've spent a good portion of this list trying to argue as best as I can why Final Fantasy characters should be allowed to be boss fights in Kingdom Hearts 4 outside of the Final Fantasy 7 cast. But they're not the main thing I want to see as secret bosses in Kingdom Hearts 4. What I want to see more than anything else is far more representation from Square Enix's other games. I want to see them try to utilize several of their other games for secret bosses that aren't Final Fantasy. I want a boss fight with Sho Minamoto from Neo The World Ends With You, or the original one. I just said Neo because that's the most recent one I played. I want to fight Chrono from Chrono Trigger. I want to try to fight the characters from Bravely Default. Can you imagine a battle like that where they stack up Braves during battle and then they just unleash these crazy powerful attacks on you? Square has multiple libraries of games under their belt, and they just don't ever try to put them in Kingdom Hearts stuff. Like, they have several series under their belt. They can utilize them more than Final Fantasy. Hell, I don't have much experience with Dragon Quest, but I would love to see it represented in Kingdom Hearts. Maybe have like a giant King Slime be a boss fight. Like, try utilizing more, Square. You have dozens of games. Hell, see if you can coerce a deal to have Geno as a boss fight. I don't know. Like, just use more outside of Final Fantasy. I will forever love Final Fantasy, but Kingdom Hearts doesn't have to only be tied to Final Fantasy. You've shown you're fully willing to use characters from the world ends with you in your games. So, hopefully going forward, they're going to be more comfortable using other characters. And that is the end of the video. I want to thank everybody who stuck around and watched this. This was my first ever collab with someone and I had a blast working on it. Especially big thanks to my good friend Matt Kaiser. I'll be leaving a link to his channel in the description to check him out. He's a super cool dude and I hope we work on more collabs in the future. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, like, sub. It'll help me grow as a channel. We're trying to hit 400 and I think we can do it. Also, if there are any bosses you'd love to see in Kingdom Hearts 4, leave a comment below. I usually am pretty good at interacting if I do say so myself. Have a good night, day, afternoon, whatever suits your fancy, and I'll see you next vid.